In this lecture, we're going to link moles mass with equations and firstly we're going to revise what, uh, what was the link between moles and mass. Uh, we came up with a formula which was that moles is equal to mass in grams over MR. MR or AR. Where MR was the molecular mass, AR was the atomic mass. So we, if you're dealing with atoms, you're going to use AR. If you're dealing with molecules, you're going to use MR. So let's let's revise that. Or if you want to, you can watch the videos that I did uh, on this particular formula. So we can uh, revise uh, this formula, moles is equal to mass over MR or AR. So for example, if I have 100 grams of Cl2 molecules, now I want to figure out how many moles this would be equal to. I would simply use this formula, moles is equal to mass, which is given as 100 grams. And I would divide that by the MR, and you can look for the MR in the period, periodic table. Uh, so Cl has, uh, Cl2 molecule has two Cl atoms. So that would be 35.5 into two. That would be the MR of chlorine molecules. And you can solve for this. So you can use your calculator, it would be 100 divided by 71 and that would give me 1.41 moles so that's how you're going to use the formula let's do another example let's say i'm gi i'm given uh, i'm given 20 grams of na3po4 so if i'm given 20 grams of na3po4 Again, if I want to find the moles, moles would be equal to the mass is given, it's given as 20 and the MR, I would uh, need to work for the MR, that would be for sodium it's 23. So since we have 3 sodiums, that would be 23 multiplied by 3. Uh, plus you would have 1 phosphorus, which is 31 in the periodic table and then you, you have 4 oxygen, so that would be 16 into 4. If I solve this, then I would get my moles, so let me solve this, it's going to be 20 divided by uh, 23 into 3 plus I have 31 plus 16 into 4 and that would give me 0.123 moles rounded to 3 significant figures, so that's 0 0.122 0 0.122 moles so that's how you're going to use this formula to figure out the moles of uh, substances. You can also, in exactly the same way, find the mass, an unknown mass. We can uh, look for the, for the mass of a substance given the moles of that substance. We know the quantity in uh, terms of amount of substance in terms of moles. For example, I have, uh, let's do the first one, I have 0 0.15 moles of... Uh, HCl and I want to figure out what the mass of this uh, particular amount of HCl is so I'm going to use the formula it's going to be moles which is 0.15 which is equal to mass and that's the unknown that's what I'm going to try and figure out and I can find the MR of HCl by looking in the periodic table so it's going to be 1 plus 35.5 uh, is for Cl H is 1 so that's 36.5 so my mass would be equal to I will make mass the subject of the equation. So it's going to be 36.5 multiplied by 0. Uh, 0.15. And that gives me 5.475 grams. So that's how I'm going to figure out uh, the mass of a substance. We can do another question, a similar question. Let's say I want to know the mass of uh, uh, 2.85 moles of NaNO3. So that's my compound. I'm going to use the same formula. I know the moles. It's 2.85 moles. And moles is equal to mass, which is the unknown here, divided by the MR. And the MR would be 23. Sodium is 23. Plus you have one nitrogen. That's 14 in the periodic table. Then you have three oxygen. That's 16 into and we can solve for mass using uh, using our calculator it's going to be 2.85 multiplied by 23 plus 14 plus 16 times 3 
and that gives me 242.25 grams 242.25 grams and that's my mass now I'm going to try and link this formula which is moles is equal to mass over M AR or MR uh, with equations so I'm going to try and link moles and mass with equations and uh, previously when we were discussing uh, the link between moles and equations uh, we discussed uh, a balanced chemical equation so there's, there's this balance, balanced chemical equation in front of you and what this equation tells you it's a balanced equation which means that it's going to tell you the ratio in which uh, and the simplest ratio in which the reactants are reacting and in which the products are being formed so if you look at this equation you would realize that one molecule of H2 reacts with exactly one molecule of chlorine to produce two molecules of HCl so that that's the ratio in which the reactants and the products are uh, in relation to each other now if I if I use that ratio and that ratio a balanced chemical equation represents the simplest ratio so if I use that ratio if I have uh, 15 hydrogen molecules that would mean that since hydrogen and chlorine react in exactly the same ratio which means that if I have 15 hydrogen molecules that would mean that I would need exactly 15 molecules of chlorine and if I want to figure out how much HCl would be produced uh, you can use the check the ratio one molecule of H2 reacts with one molecule of Cl2 and produces two molecules so so the amount of HCl produced is going to be double the amount of chlorine or the amount of H2 so if 15 are reacting with 15 so it's one produces two that would mean 15 would produce 30 molecules of HCl so a balanced chemical equation gives you the ratio of the amount or quantity of the substance uh, that are present and the, and, the, and the way in which they are reacting with respect to each other now we count uh, chemicals and compounds in moles so we're not going to use 15s or hundreds or thousands our unit for counting any molecule would be in moles because we have a lot of molecules and atoms around us so we need a very large unit so we're going to use moles now if I have 2.15 moles of hydrogen that would mean according to the ratio which is 1 ratio 1 according to this ratio that would indicate that I need exactly the same moles of chlorine which should be 2.15 moles and according to the ratio one chlorine molecule produces two molecules of HCl so that means 2.15 moles would produce twice that amount so that would become 4.30 moles so that's so your equation balanced equation represents the ratio in which your moles are going to react not your mass not your volume but your moles an equation represents the ratio in which the moles of a substance are going to react with each other now once we know the moles of all the substances in the equation uh, we can convert that into mass because we know that there's a formula that converts moles to mass if you know the quantity of the substance you can convert that into its mass by using MR or AR so if I have 2.15 moles of H2 what I can do is I can use 2.15 moles of H2 so let's do a working over here so I have 2.15 moles of H2 and I want to figure out what the mass of this particular amount of substance is going to be so I'm going to use moles is equal to mass over MR or AR so I have 2.15 moles which is basically equal to mass which is the unknown over MR or AR so the molecular mass of H2 in the periodic table is going to be 1 plus 1 which would come out to be equal to 2 and if I use that formula and make mass the subject of the equation it's going to be 4.30 grams so the mass of H2 that's going to be used in this equation is going to be 4.30 grams similarly we can find the mass of chlorine as well so I have 2.15 moles of Cl2 so if I have 2.15 moles of Cl2 what I can do is I can use the formula moles is equal to mass over MR or AR so I have 2.15 moles which should be equal to mass divided by the MR of chlorine which is in the pure table is 35.5 but multiplied by 2 because you have two chlorines 
and your mass you can use a calculators now your mass would come out to be 2.15 multiplied by 71 which should give you 152.65 grams so that would be the amount of mass that that of chlorine that would be needed in this particular reaction lastly what we can do is we can find the mass of hcl as well so given that we have found that uh, the moles of hcl are 4.30 so we can find the mass of hcl and uh, we have 4.30 moles of hcl and we could we can we're going to use the same formula moles is equal to mass over mr or ar so it's going to be 4.30 moles which is equal to mass over MR or AR, HCl has an MR of 1 plus 35.5, so that would be Cl is 35.5, hydrogen is 1, so that's 36.5. So use your calculator, it's going to be 4.3 multiplied by 36.5, which would give us 156.95. So the mass of HCl is going to be 156. 0.95 grams so remember that the equation is the ratio of moles it's the ratio of the amount of substance which we are counting in moles so we know that one hydrogen molecule reacts with one chlorine molecule to produce two molecules of HCl so that's the ratio in which that's the simplest ratio in which they're going to react one reacts with one and produces two so if you have 15 15 are going to react with 15 and they're going to produce 30 so if you're given a particular amount of moles, let's say I have 2.15 moles of H2, then that would react with 2.15 moles of chlorine and they're going to produce 4.30 moles of HCl. And once you have moles, you can easily convert moles to mass. Uh, for H2, the mass comes out to be 4.30 grams. For uh, chlorine, you have 2.15 moles and the mass comes out to be 152.65 grams. And for HCl, the mass comes out to be 156.95 grams now remember that in any chemical reaction the mass is also conserved so if you look at the mass carefully and if you look at the mass of the reactants and the mass of the products you have this reactant which is 4.30 grams the other reactant has a mass of 152.65 grams if you add them up your product should have the same mass so in any chemical reaction the mass is conserved so if you add the mass of the reactants the mass of the product is going to be exactly the same. So you can check that on your own. Add 152.65 and add 4.30 to it. And you're going to get 126.95 exactly. So in any chemical reaction, the mass is conserved.